Hey YouTube, Roz here. I haven't made a video in quite some time, but with all my running that I've been doing in the hot Texas summer, there is a quick review that I wanted to do. I've been using handheld water bottles. I prefer them over the vests when I run. So for me, the handheld water bottle um, is good during my long training. I'm training um, for my third half marathon at the end of September in Chicago and I am excited about that Currently in Texas. It's hot. It's super hot I've been waking up at 4 in the morning to go downtown to San Antonio to do my long runs on Saturdays in the past I've used this uh, first uh, Nathan water bottle um, it serve my purpose i bought it last year and uh it's super handy it's very ergonomical like it has a wide mouth so you can clean it pretty good in here i would put like an energy gel or something in here um, you can put like your wallet or cards or something in this pocket i normally don't carry anything in here and it just slid in your hand like that and it was very comfortable to hold and the spout was really good to use so i really liked this water bottle a lot and it wasn't a big issue but when i put ice in it because there's no like insulation around it it would sweat my hand would get wet and then plus two as i'm running the heat from my hand would also melt the ice that i'd put in here super quick so my drink would start getting warm and like i said it's not that big of a deal but i liked this one so much that i decided to get another one and so i was going to pass this one down to my husband it holds 22 ounces up to the top of it okay so i had gotten some birthday money from my dad my birthday's in july and so I was like, oh, I'm going to treat myself to a new one because I loved my old one so much. This, I believe, is an 18 ounce. I've used this one twice already. It's, it's insulated. You can't really see in there. But this keeps the water and the ice, like my drinks in here, really cold. Like, it's amazing. I really liked it. Like, in the hot Texas sun... It's still cold. I hold it in my hand. The only thing I don't like about this, and I would caution people to try it out in a running store near you if, if they sell it. I got this one at Fleet Feet in San Antonio at the quarry. I kind of wish I would have like tried it a little bit more in the store, but I had such a good experience with my first one that I talked about that I didn't think about trying it out. So I used it the first time in Austin and I ran a 10K and it was slipping like the right here it was slipping and then here at the bottom started slipping out and so trying to readjust it and as I was readjusting it my I had an energy gel in here and my energy gel as I was like trying to fix it fell into the lake in Ladybird Lake in Austin so I didn't even get to try my new energy gel and then last week in san antonio i did seven miles and i tried to use it and again like seems like whenever you try to use the pockets or the zipper it i guess it weighs it down and it seemed like this this whole sliding thing just came off like it just and and it was making my run very frustrating because i have i kept having to readjust these and they kept sliding off as like, as I was running. And so I'm going to try it again tomorrow just to make sure. I tried to put a safety pin here to help keep this as tight as possible. But right now, I prefer, even though this one keeps my water super, super cold, and especially in Texas in the summertime when you really need it, I prefer my old one, this one. This one, I forgot to tell you, on Nathan's website, this one is $25.50 right now. Um, you can get 15% off. I'm not sponsored or anything, by the way. 
but I really liked this one and it's 22 25 50 right now I think I paid like I probably got it for 18 because I had credits at the run store that I used to go to in Coppell, Texas. I just wanted to, to caution you. I love this style better. It held it in place. I never had any issues with it, holding it in my hand while I was running like nine, 10 miles last summer. But the newest one that I bought, the insulated one, so far for like six and seven miles, it just started slipping and sliding off of the grip and down here. So I'm gonna try it out again tomorrow and see where it goes from there. And I'll do a short and update you guys if you want. That's it. I just wanted to give a little quick review of this handheld water bottle. There's nothing wrong with the water bottle, just the straps, but I'm gonna try it again tomorrow on my three mile run and we'll go from there. So thank you for watching. And that was uh, my review of the water bottle. Look at the baby! Look at the baby!